Why are we we an acting psycho, lady? But no, no. Um, I'm the embodiment of, of feminism. You know, I'm stabbing the patriarchy of men. Oh, I suppose with the dress and the knife and the shower, it is quite a bit like psycho, isn't it? Yeah. I guess we're rapidly running out of ideas for the intros to these little vlogs. I'd rather like that one. Hi everybody, my name is Roy. Lacey. And today we're going to be talking about... Feminism. Wait, didn't we already do that, darling? Well, actually, yeah, fuck it, just go back and watch that one, we don't have to do this. Wait, no, no. We should do a proper video, really. Oh, fine! Fine, we'll take a more in-depth look at feminism and, and see why us, ourselves, do not subscribe to this bullshit. So what you'll hear from feminists is, do you believe in equality? Why, of course. Well then, you are a feminist. <gasps> because that's what feminism is all about, equality between both genders. Feminism means equality for everybody. If you're thinking that you're watching this video and you are anti-feminist, then you are anti-equality. Fuck off, man! You're not guilty me into being a feminist. Feminism doesn't own the monopoly on equality. As a matter of fact, I don't really think that third wave feminism wants equality at all. Assault is not boy talk, motherfucker. I didn't. Who did I assault? Fucking matter. Fucking matter. When's the last time you heard a feminist mention that yeah, men get double the jail sentence for the exact same crime when compared to a woman? When was the last time you heard a feminist complain or fight for or try and raise awareness? for the ridiculously high suicide rate with men. When was the last time you heard a feminist mention the fact that 40% of all domestic abuse victims are male, yet 99% of all shelter spaces are reserved for females only? W when was the last time, lady? I don't think I've ever heard that. I, I, I can't recall what... Wow, what a um, absolutely inept patriarchy. The best way to put it, I've always thought, Lacey, is Feminists murdered equality, then they fucking cut the face off its bloated, decomposing corpse, and now they're running around with its severed face wearing it as a mask. Okay. So, I have a. You were tricked into believing this bullshit. You hate men. Or the more likely one is it's all about self interest. Just white western women being the professional victim again for their own gain. Which I can understand if not condone, but male feminists? What the fuck happened? You poor, wet, damp, rain sodden, quivering... faggots. Here are five sad things about angry white men. Their misogyny. See, you anti-feminists are using cheap tactics to try and make our entire movement look bad. You keep taking the lunatic fringe of feminists and highlighting them as if that's representative of our entire group. Okay, but just because you're not screaming and shouting and causing a general all-round ruckus doesn't mean that your ideas on how we should all act is any more valid. Me and Lacey d disagree with the teachings of Islam. 
Not all Muslims are terrorists, however that doesn't mean we agree with the moderates. The doctrine is the problem. Feminism itself has actually become the problem. Lacey? But what is it specifically that the feminists are angry about? Well... Everything. Excellent! Although they'd probably be annoyed about these pants. Why? Well, there's, there's no Wonder Woman on them anywhere. It's all just male superheroes. The wage gap. Oh god, not the fucking wage gap argument. I'm so tired of hearing about it. I know, but let, let's just get out of the way now. <sighs> Did you know that men get paid more money than women? Yes, men earn more money than women. A feminist will frame it as a man makes one dollar to every woman 77 cents. However, when you put it in them words, it insinuates that women get paid less hourly than men for the exact same job. Women make up almost half the working population, yet we typically earn just 78 cents to every dollar a man makes in almost every profession. Men earn more money as an overall group. You know, they take less time off, they work more hours, can't get pregnant, and feminists for some reason never take these factors into account. It's almost as if feminists want it to appear that society is against women. <laughs> So, if you don't know about the pink tox, that's basically where women's products cost far more than men's do. And we have to pay more for the same stuff. What? Yeah, cars. What? Dry cleaning. What? And instead of sitting here and having a good old chin wag about the pink tax, me and Lacey are men of action, so we decided to go out, grab the pink tax by the throat, and face fuck it! We're rapists. Well, darling, here's the steal. Here's the Venus razor for ladies. It comes for um, £20, and you get about five heads of it or whatever. But you know, you can get the £1.50 ones as well. These are aimed for men, but you know, women can use these too. You don't have to spend 20 quid. Okay, so I've heard a lot about the tampon tax. These, these, these products must be very expensive. Um, but I, I went and, and dug some out, and surprise, surprise, they're one pound for a pack of 20. And these ones are super absorbent, so don't worry, oh. ladies. You don't, you don't have to bleed uncontrollably. It's, it's fine. And it's, it's the same cost as the, this, this toilet roll. So they're, they're the same price. It's fine. You can afford them. So here we have carotene oil shampoo. Uh, it costs about, well, seven pounds. But the thing is, you can also get this one. You get the two in one, it's only a quid. So you don't have to pay more for the expensive shit. So toys are quite a contentious one when it comes to the pink tag. So if you take this Spider-Man here and you put it next to this Elsa, about the same size, you get about the same amount of shit and unsurprisingly, both the exact same price. Okay. However, if you take this small little TIE fighter and you put it next to this My Little Pony playset, obviously this one costs way more because this is just a tiny bit of tap. You've got to look pretty hard to actually dig out any injustice anywhere. It just makes me feel like, yeah, you're just highlighting certain very small isolated incidences. What is it that you want? I don't really understand. I mean, here in Western countries, I can't think of anything that we can do that you can't. And yet you keep acting like you're victims, and I don't understand anymore. Well, e e everyone's being raped. Women are being raped in their droves. What have we done to stop the rape? Oh, we made it highly illegal. You know, but it's like, no, we need to teach men not to rape. If no one ever tells you not to rape someone, how are you supposed to know that you shouldn't? I mean, the things that really get under my skin, you know, is like, actual real problems. Places where children are allowed to be married, and, and a woman can be stoned to death for being raped which is just disgusting, and yet these people will sit around and bitch and scream and shout because shampoo costs too much, or this person sat with their legs too wide open. Lacey, could you please shut up and think about the insane amount of mansplaining you've been doing? However, I find it funny that feminists and SJWs seem to jump to like the defence of Islam and its super misogynistic sort of barbaric sort of culture. They won't do anything about it now. Rather than, yeah, rather than standing up against it, they're like, fuck it. The, we're left wing and we accept everyone, even if it directly contradicts half of the other shit. You know, the thing is, like, all left wing stuff isn't, isn't like, bad or anything. Uh -oh. You know, there are some good ideas there, but it's like, the feminists and SJWs are, 
they talk so much bollocks, right? And when you disagree with them, rather than them sitting down and, and talking to you about why you disagree, Just... they 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 try to they try to shame you. They're like, oh, you're clearly a misogynist. Or, you're clearly just a fucking racist for simply having a difference of opinion because, no, they don't want to have any kind of civil discourse. You know there's like an actual real problem when governments are forcing affirmative action on companies, which, just in case you don't know, is making a company hire a certain number of women. Fuck best man for the job. No, you've got to have this many female employees or we're all sexist, right? Affirmative action, at least in the UK, used to be called positive discrimination, which was half honest. I mean, I don't think discrimination can be anything other than negative. It was no. it was in the name. They might have well have just been honest and called it what it really was. You know, revenge. <laughs> yeah, so they were they were fighting perceived sexism with actual sexism. So we decided to end this video. We'd go out and just try and talk to your every man. <laughs> the, the every person, Lacey. Well, you think we are sexists? Good catch, Roy. We'd go talk to the every person and see what they have to say about feminism. Fucking hell, it's cold out here, Lacey. I know, I don't Lacey, like it. Lacey, there's a oh. man in this car. Oh. There's a man, hang on. Oh, okay. Hi, sir. Are you a man with opinions on things? Sure, I guess. Do you have opinions you... on feminism? Oh, you don't work for BuzzFeed, do you? No, we work for the Huffington Minge. Oh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Well, we're just going to jump in and ask you some questions, if that's cool. Jump in. Who's that there? Hi. This one, Lacey, get in. It's one of them gay little cars oh, where you, you've got to get in through the back. You've got to, yeah. uh, like that? Yeah. Push the okay, thing. hello. Hello. God, it's very small. You need a bigger car. Well, what do you want me to do about it? I didn't know you were going to... So, uh, sir, do yeah. you think that feminism is good? Well, this is a bit of a loaded question, isn't it? It's a big thing, it's complicated. I don't think it's that complicated when you look at the dictionary definition, oh. and it's simply about equality for the sexes. Oh, but that's not true. There's loads of things that goes into it. Uh, please elaborate. Well, if it's just about equality, <laughs> yeah. and I believe in equality, am I a feminist? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, what, but I don't believe in, like, rape culture. Or the wage gap. Or patriarchy. So now am I still a feminist? A, a very, very bad feminist, yes. Oh dear. Right. Well, hang on a minute. So, I'm still a feminist even though I don't agree with anything that you believe in. You should agree with it. You're not allowed well, not to disagree with that's it. That's not the point. Oh, if I'm not allowed to disagree with it, then I can't be a feminist, right? You've kicked me out already. This isn't about whether I want to be a part of your group. This is about whether you'd let me in. My name's Steve Chives. You sound awfully a lot like a sexist. No. I mean, what? Well, so, do you not agree that Emma Watson is a massive slag and deserves to be ripped apart by feminists? You can't call her a slag. I thought you were a feminist. She's not a slag by her own design. It's because of the uh, internalised misogyny oh, what? of clear, clear sexist rapists like you. Well, hang on a minute. I didn't tell her to do anything. She, it's not my fault she appeared in a magazine getting paid millions of dollars to that kind of not expose her breasts. That poor goddamn slut was forced to Can't accept... Can I call her a slut? I don't know, I'd quite happily get naked for a million that dollars. That poor... See, there you go. She's all right Lacey, with it. shut the fuck up. That poor goddamn slut was forced to accept millions of pounds to be in that magazine and she's practically brainwashed zombie at this point. Well, why? Why is she a brainwashed zombie? Because she's doing things you don't want her to do. Because of the patriarchy! Oh, the, she could, she's getting paid millions of pounds for it. She's happy to do it. I thought it was all about her body, her choice. If that was... That's her body. If that was Bradley Cooper's knob, he'd be getting three million pounds for it. What do you think about that? No, he wouldn't. Nobody wants to see Bradley Cooper's dick. I wouldn't mind seeing it. I mean, to me, you sound just like one of them fascists. I mean, isn't it a crime? that Donald Trump isn't Hillary Clinton, why do we not see more representation of women in politics and business? Because they're not doing it. Yes, they are. Well, then they're not as good as the people that are beating them to it, then, are they? Th that's not fair. Women are great at everything. In fact, they're better than men at stuff. Well, then they'd be fine. No, no th it's not fair that there's not 
50% women in business and CEO positions and 50% women You're never going to get 50% of everyone in everything. It's just going to be whoever's going for it the most and being the best getting the job. Hitler once said that. Well, maybe he was right. No, well, women, w women deserve to be represented much more in, in STEM fields and politics and business because they're, they're graduating at a much higher rate. They're getting more degrees than men. That proves that they're more cleverer than men. But doesn't that mean that the men are being discriminated against in university if there's less graduating? Is your name Milo Yanakopoulos? That's not even his name. So I, I think what we've gathered from this is that this man is a paedophile. Oh, you're calling everybody paedophiles these days. And you're a fascist. And, and fascists. And you're and a Nazi. Nazis. And you yeah. probably voted for Donald Trump, didn't you? I'm English, I didn't vote for either of them. Oh. I've been Steve Chives, ladies and gentlemen, for the Huffington Minge. This microphone wasn't actually plugged in. Uh, what? The fuck is this a joke? Get the fuck out of my car. Yeah, sorry. I have to put up with this all the time. Can, can you give us a lift home? No, fuck off. Here, move. It's hashtag Women Appreciation Day. I'm going to celebrate Women's Appreciation Day the best way I know how. By spending my hard-earned cash at one of the most female dominated type of establishments in the world, the local titty bar.